Hello, everybody. I'm a rainbow. Welcome to the full release of Grab onto the Meta Store. And today, I this is not a how to play video. I'm going to cover mainly the update stuff. And the three main updates were editor changes. I'm going to cover those in detail. The shop and the character editor changes. I'm going to try and cover those in detail. And then I'm going to show you a whole bunch of the different fits that you can get now in the shop. And we'll try them on one at a time so you can take a look at them. All of those will be linked in the description so you don't have to watch stuff you don't want to watch or you already know. You can just jump right to it. All right, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we're in editor right now. And the first change I want you to take note of is there are now four across on the menu rather than three. It's not a huge change, but it does make it easier to get to shapes and go through them faster. Um, I do like that. All right. The next thing I'm going to show you is very cool and you're going to going to really like it. So I'm going to walk over here and get back into editor reach out and then touch that wall and then we're going to go to selection and now we're going to go to color and as we're looking at the color you're going to see default all right neon and we have a new one which is transparent and boy is that awesome so yes you can see through it now when you set it to transparent you reach out there and selection and you're in transparent and you can change the color. Um, a darker color makes it a little bit different. You'll see all of that. All right. I'm going to stick with that orange because it works. It works with the other color right now. And behind there, you can see a new shape. Yes, there are cones. Cones are the new shape and they're right on the menu, right down at the bottom of the menu. So you can grab them, throw them out there and have a cone. And I'll just grab one of these. And you can get some very sharp shapes with them. You can flatten them out. You can do anything you want. You can make some elongated shapes. So interestingly enough, all kinds of nifty things can happen. And yes, you can color them any way you want. So cones. And uh, I'm excited to see what people can do with a new shape that gives us a little bit more uh, creativity that we can use on things. So there we go. One thing I want to point out about cones, though, is with like the bouncy block. And that's just a big bouncy block right there that I have made into a cone shape. And I'm going to jump on it. What is so cool about this is most of the time, the shapes we have, you jump on them. When depending on where you hit, it's going to send you in different directions, which gives you some different options on the map. You know, when you're building stuff to, to create things with. So depending on how you drop on it, it will send you in different directions. You know, you might be going backward instead of forward. Um, so where you hit might be a little more critical. All right. There's the cone shape. There's another nifty thing that is now available to everybody and has to do with color. So I'm just got a block. We're going to go to selection. And you notice right in there, it says simple. If you hit it, you go to advance now and you can actually pick any color you want just by doing it this way. So say you want a green and then you want a really dark green, you just drop it down there and boy that's a very dark green a little bit lighter up in there so you can change it with this advanced color picker which is super nifty all right so keep that in mind all right you can use uh, the, the amount of colors are limitless at this point all right the last thing that i want to show you as far as the editor goes is the lava block and I think everybody's been used to seeing the lava block this way for ages and ages all right I mean that's what it looks like lava people are used to that but now you've got an option so if you go to selection and then you hit where it says default and it gives you custom notice the color on that has changed because you can now pick and there are two different colors to pick through from here and it draws a gradient between them two so right now it's just i'm just let's just go with a blue and if i hit where the second is right there 
you can pick another color. Let's go with a yellow. And that's what the lava block looks like. And it still works as lava. If you run into it, you know, you're done for. So this is awesome i really think this is cool you people are going to get some very interesting um effects in maps and the lava is going to be you never know exactly what it's going to going to look like and for instance so first colors let's go with the, the dark blue and go to second and i give it the same color you know that's going to make it hard to see so you never know be some death traps there people can't quite see all right, everybody, one last little thing uh, on the editor that's changed, and I, this is something I really like, is normally the position snap and the rotation snap defaulted back to zero in, or the lowest settings, okay? Now it will remember your settings, when, whatever you set them in. If you get out and come back in, it remembers those between the time you use them and the time you came back. And that also helps when you're building because you're not putting things down at different angles and, and things like that. So it, I find it really helpful. The character editor has been changed quite a bit and updated, and it is very cool now. All right, so let me kind of take these things in order. So this is the shop. This is what you see. You can look at this see all the items that are for sale or the ones that you might already have already are on there and don't forget to get your release day badge in that first 24 hours i got mine because i'm testing but you don't want to miss out on yours so make sure you get that thing all right these are all the things this is the weekly rotation of items that come up that you can buy now the store is enormous at this point there's a whole bunch of different customization options and we'll look at some of those later on but right now these come up you know once a week and you can buy them or not and move on to different things and they're very cool if you want to spend some in-game currency and re-roll because you don't want to wait you can do that i am not going to opt out to waste any money doing that all right and so your road picker on here this is your basic character all right i've got mine so you can click the main color is up here you can change your color if you want same thing with your detail color you can change those if you want i'm going to just put them back because i'm i like the blue right now and you go ahead and pick your own to own items and this is everything you own all right and if you want to take everything off all at once you just hit that i don't have any items on at the moment the other thing is you can filter it if you just look and say you want to find heads that you own click on that and then you can pick that and you can equip them right from there just like that all right, let's go bodies. All right, ooh, and this is something that's new, is they have new new body types. I got this as part of the hero pack, I think. All right, looks very sharp, but there are a multitude of these things available. All right, so I'm just gonna, and you can see all the different checkpoints. These are all things that, that are owned, that I can equip with. The cool thing is, I love mini me, we're going to go with that. And then let's go to grapples because grapples is interesting. Notice it says equipped L and equipped R. That means you can have a different grapple in each hand. So if I do that one in the left hand and then I pick the rocket in the right hand, there we go. So you can now have grapples, a different grapple rather than using the same grapple in both hands. I think that is very cool. All right. And they also added, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, not bodies, backpacks. All right, there's the backpack. There's the original one. There's the jet backpack. This one's kind of cool because it's animated. And a lot of those have different features on them that are very cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the other things that might be available uh, throughout all of that and you can just pick if you just want to look at everything you can go down here oh let's talk about the badges so these are the different obviously different badges you can have so i'm going to wear my content creator badge i'll put that on the left you see it shows up right there i'll i'll pick the uh, early release badge put that on the right and then there's actually space in the middle 
where you can put one and it won't say equip L, equip right, it'll just say equip and that sticks it in the middle right there. All right, let's look at, take a look at the character editor and this is the reroll. So on your weekly rotation, if you want different items to pop up, you can hit that reroll. You have to spend coins to get it to come up. Otherwise you're waiting seven days. I don't necessarily like the way this is, but that's the way it is in game right now. So that's what you have to deal with. All right, now let's go ahead and look at everything in the shop. I mean, and these are all the packs that may be available, not necessarily what you own. So if you click on owned items, you can see everything you own. If you're brand new, you won't have much in here. Um, I've got a fair number of items. Thank you very much, Slynn, for helping me out with this. Um, and we are going to take a look at almost all of these on the avatar so you can get a look at what they look like. And I have, I'll index those so like when we look at the heads or the bodies or anything like that, you can just jump to them if you don't want to watch this whole thing. I'm going to understand people don't want to watch this whole thing as we go through it. So we're going to filter by heads to start with. And then we'll take a look at, at those. And there's the monkey head. You can spin the avatar around by just pointing at it so you get a, you get a 3D view of that. And the night helmet, that thing is huge. I mean, it's enormous. All right. Damaged helmet, just some scratches on it. The cracked helmet, got the Terminator vibe going on. I like that one. Diving helmet, been around for a while. Same thing with the space helmet. All right, let's go ahead and do hats. So the top hats, um, these look very sharp. They've got some, some artistic touches in them, so they look better than they do. That bucket hat, I really like it. It's got a little fishing lure stuck on it. Headphones, my personal favorite is the octopus. That is just awesome because it's moving and it just, yeah, I love it. I love the octopus. The actual bucket hat, chef's hat, traffic cone, dino hat. That is so cute. I, I, I like the dino hat. Probably my second favorite. The gamer headset, top hat madness. The bear skin, hair of science, a beanie, you look like a burglar, flower wreath, that's very detailed as well, looks very nice. And some of these others were probably already in the game, I know the halo was, uh, the Christmas tree hat, but I'm going through them anyway. Um, the ninja hat looks very plain, but the witch hat, that has gotten an upgrade, it looks much nicer than it did before. Um, Rabbit ear's been around for a while. And the baseball caps just, yeah. So same thing with the headbands. Not impressive anymore. Not when you could get an octopus maybe on your head. Yeah, there we go. Let's keep that one. Maybe not. All right, here's items you can put on your face. Big mustache, another mustache. The ski goggles look very cool. So do the sunglasses. Leg mask, eh, kind of dark. Gas mask, those are both big. So, adventure glasses, horns, the beard, and the Oni mask have all been around for a while. All right, let's take a look at the body. So the hero body, the monkey body, damaged body, cracked body. It goes around with that Terminator vibe. All right. Tell you what, while we're, while we're here, let's combine those. See that? Very sharp. So a lot of the heads and the bodies and the backpacks are coordinated now. Let's take a look at the monkey. Look at that. Now, we need to add one more thing here. So we're gonna jump ahead to those real quick. Can you guess? It's the hands, that's right. All right, we're gonna grab the hands, 
take a look all right there's the whole monkey avatar going for you right there all right i'm gonna put everything back and jump back and let's go to backpacks so we'll take a look at the backpacks the hero jet pack is cool it's animated gotta like that and believe it or not the travel backpack is my is my favorite it, it it's like a hiking backpack which i use regularly so it's pretty cool jet packs cool it's animated solar backpack uh what's it do it just sits there same thing with the guitar now these i love i wish i could do the the wings and a travel backpack at the same time that would be awesome all right now we're going to look at neck items so now one of the things you'll notice some of these are like badges and they only when it says neck it just means they go in the center of the body right there so there's going to be some other items that you can wear on both sides you know some of the badges are like that so and let's keep that chain going for now and there we go so we're looking at the body badge right now and you can equip left or equip right so you can wear multiple things all right very nifty with hands we've already seen the monkey hands there's the cat paws now why are there cat paws if there's no other cat items in the game is that telling you something same thing with the crop same thing with the crab claws does that mean there's going to be a crab in the game cats and crabs like it spear hands are original so all right there's a whole bunch of new grapples the boxing glove looks super cool and what you'll notice is you can do left and right so you, you see equip l equip equip r so you can put them different ones in different hands so you can pick them and the hook i like the hook and that drill that is cool because it's animated and the darn thing is huge you know you just scare people with that all right old old school iron grapple some of these were already in the in the game i know the rocket and the candy cane those were all in there frobo was in there it was cool i would like frobo to be animated animated frobo would be awesome you know just the legs moving just a little bit oh yeah All right, we'll stick with the boxing glove and the drill for now. Now let's take a quick look at portals. I'm actually gonna put a better look at portals at the end of the video. I decided to add that on because we could see a little bit, but, and you can see now that inspirational one, it changes um, sayings at different times. The flower's very cool, so is the, the duck point and the Maori checkpoint or the Moa checkpoint just sits there. That portal checkpoint is enormous and then what is that oh yes all right we'll have to take a look at some of those these a lot of these others were already in game um and a couple of them have gotten look to me like they've gotten graphical updates and i could be wrong i just maybe not have seen them like the north pole checkpoint that looks really good so does the katana so and uh, I don't know if they were updated or just my perception has changed on them a little bit because of my Quest 3. All right, everybody, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If you've got questions, please hit me up in the comments. I'm always willing to answer. Y'all be good. Take care now. Bye-bye. Yeah.